Hi, uh, today I'm going to show you a really cool plugin by Frito6 called Round Edges. And I use this a lot for countertops. And as you can see here, we've got sort of a complicated edge in this countertop, and it has very hard edges on it. Now, they wouldn't be fabricated this way in real life because they'd be very sharp, and you'd catch your hip on it, and they'd chip, and that sort of thing. So to make this uh, appear more accurate, I want to put a rounded edge on it. Now, if you're using just SketchUp without any plugins, this is kind of hard to do. Um, there are a couple methods that I used to use to do this. Uh, the easiest one to do is to take the Erase tool, and if you press Shift while you're using the Erase tool, it will hide edges rather than erase them. So if I just went ahead and erased this edge, it breaks up the whole surface and it doesn't work anymore. But if I hit Shift and then click on the line, it hides it. So you can go around and hide lines like that. Now it doesn't make the shape any softer, but it gives it the appearance of being a little bit softer. Not exactly uh, the best way to do it, but it can certainly make it look uh, a little better. Another way that you could put a rounded edge on this is to use the Follow Me tool. Now this is a little bit difficult uh, to do, but it does work. What you do is take an edge like this, put a little arc on it, do something uh, just about like that. Then take the Follow Me tool, click on that surface, and then you can kind of go around here and zip the edge around like that. And we'll go all the way around the back and click. And now you can see it has rounded the edge. Now I put these two extra lines in here, and we have to then go and use that same method I just showed you and hide all the all the lines. So that sort of accomplishes what we wanted to do. We still can't round these inside corners or these outside corners using the follow me method. And if you want to do the the under edge here, you have to go back and do it all over again. So it's kind of a time consuming process and one that I didn't do that often. Uh, there's a really cool plugin, again, uh, I said from Frito6 called Round Edges. Now this one can do bevel edges and sharp corners. Uh, I'm going to show you the round edges. So for this to work, you simply install the plugin, and I'll post some instructions on how to do that. Click the round corners, and there's lots of different settings here, but you can pretty much leave most of these alone uh, for doing what we're about to do. The offset's important. So if I want to make a quarter inch round over, I click on here. I can just type in a quarter of an inch. Uh, you can pretty much leave the rest of these settings alone, and click OK. And once you're in the tool, you'll see that this little Frito 6 bar pops up here, and you get a different pointer. So you can go around, and you can start clicking edges that you want to round. Now, I said uh, earlier we couldn't round the inside corners. With this plugin, we can. I simply click them, and you can see the red and the green and the purple lines give you an idea of what's about to happen. So I'm going to go around this countertop and click the rest of my edges that I want rounded over. And then I can go here and hit the green check. It'll calculate for a moment. And now we have round edges. Rounded on the top, rounded on the corners, and even rounded on the inside. And sometimes it does create extra surfaces, but that's simple. All we have to do is go delete the surface it made. And we can step back and take a look at this, and we have a nice soft cornered countertop that looks a lot more realistic. This free plugin makes this very, very easy to do.